Hi everyone! As mentioned in my last video, I will be cutting out my exact posters. A lot of Korean fans were really creative when the album was first released and did a bunch of DIY crafts, so I wanted to try it out myself as well. So here I have 8 posters, 2 for Lucky One, 2 for Monster, and 4 of the white logo ones. And what I'll be doing is cutting up the posters into squares to feature each member as well as the title and the track list. And because I'm quite OCD, I will be using a paper cutter instead of just scissors. But before that, because the poster is so large, I'll need to trim down each piece in order to be able to cut them. I'm using the scissors to roughly cut out the areas that I want to make into cards. And I'm just trying to do it quickly so I'm not worrying about street edges or anything yet. Now I just have three pieces, one with the title, one with the track list and the credits at the very bottom, and then one with all nine members. Since this is the smallest piece, I will cut this into the size that I want first and then use it as a template to create the other ones. And of course you can cut these to any size you want, but I will be pasting a few onto my albums to make member covers. So that's why I have the albums here to help me measure the size. Next, I'm going to take the piece with all nine members and cut them into three rows. At this point, of course you can just cut out the member cards at whatever sizes you'd like, but because I want to make member covers, I will be taking an album to help me measure the widths. Now I have the width down and I will just be trimming the top and bottom to make them straight. And here we have the first member done. Since this card is the right size, I will be using it as a guide to help me cut out the other members. I realize that it's a bit of a hassle to cut the cards individually, and it's also hard to match the height of each of the cards, so I will be folding this row and cutting the top and bottom at the same time. After cutting the top and bottom, I can now cut the sides to make three cards. And here are all the member cards from the Lucky One poster. In addition to these, I also cut out the title credits, as well as the track list, as well as the little Lucky One symbol at the very bottom. For my second poster, I decided to take a different approach and instead fold the posters row-wise and then cut in between the members first. This was definitely a much easier process than what I did for my first poster. I got cleaner cuts and it took less time to finish all of the member cards. The only thing is that when I was cutting down the columns, I didn't pay attention to every single member's description, so I cut off the Y in sentimentality for Tanya's description. Other than that, I was pretty happy with this method, so I will continue to use it for my monster poster. Now I finished cutting my first monster poster, and for the second one, I'm actually going to be cutting out the member photos alone without the little descriptions on the side, and I will be doing the same to one set of my Lucky One cards in order to have a full set of the photos. Finally, I'm done with cutting. As you can tell, I have quite a few piles of different size cutouts. And as for the white logo poster, I only cut up one of them because I'm too tired to do the other three right now. But now let's jump into putting these cutouts to use. First, I want to paste covers onto my albums, so I will just choose four pictures that I want to use. I'm matching the monster photos with the monster albums and the lucky one photos with the lucky one albums. I'm not sure what other fans use to stick the photos onto the albums, but I will be using my trusty double-sided tape. And I will use the Kai photos for the Korean versions and Taehyun photos for the Chinese versions. So flipping the photo over, let's put tape onto the back. Then comes the hard part. I'm gonna try to line this up with the album. So this is the first member cover. And here is my Taehyun cover. Moving on to Lucky One. I think I prefer these covers since they're more colorful. So now I've transformed my albums into individual member covers. I have to say this one's my favorite because I really like the pink, teal, and yellow on the white background. Since I bought four albums, I just did these four photos. I do have two more coming in August, so I may or may not put members on those. And of course, if you buy all 18 albums, you can have member covers for all the members. Alternatively, if you only have one or two albums but you really like the way the member covers look, then you can just put one member on the front cover slip and maybe one member on the inside cover as well. Just be sure to test out the width of the inside member cutout first so that the album will fit nicely inside the slip cover. Next, I'm going to take all of my smaller photo cutouts and put them into a notebook. This is an A5 size file folder from Muji. 
My sister gave it to me a while ago, but I never used it, so I thought that this would be a good opportunity to open it up. Of course, any notebook would work for this idea. I just think that if the pages are blank inside, it will look a lot nicer. For the front cover, I'm going to paste on the EXO logo from the Monster poster. And the back cover has a few stamps on it already, so I'm going to cover it up with these pieces from the Lucky One poster. Now I finished the covers. As for the inside pages, I will be pasting in the photos from Lucky One and Monster, and I want to pair the members so that their counterparts are next to each other. Although this notebook is meant to go from right to left since it's from Japan, I will be starting on the left side instead. And for easier pacing, I'm going to remove the notebook from the folder first. Leaving the first page blank for now, I'm going to start on the second page and just begin pasting the members in. Of course, you can also start with all the monster photos and then go to the lucky ones or put your biases in the front or separate by X, O, K, and M, but I will just be going in age order. In addition to the photos from the lucky one and monster posters, I'm also going to paste in these cutouts from the logo poster. Now I have finished pasting all of the cutouts into the notebook, so let's just do a quick flip through. When cutting out the photos, I also cut out the descriptions of Sekai Su, so I put those here. I think these pages will look better with more descriptions though, so I think I should probably have done six members instead. After that, I just have two pages with the very top and very bottom of the monster posters, showing the credits and the track list. In the next section, I pasted in all of the logos from the white poster, and I probably should have put the big exact one where it belongs in the timeline, but I decided to put it first. After this page, the rest of the notebook is blank. I haven't decided yet on whether to leave it that way or fill it up. I do want to add decorations to the pages that the cutouts have been pasted on, but I don't have time right now, so I think I will just end the video here. And after I go back and finish decorating everything, I will do another flip through video for you guys. So that's all for this video. It took me so long to film everything, but it was fun making the covers and doing the notebook. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. Again, there are a lot of other things that fans have done with the exact posters. And I'd love to see what ideas you guys have as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Annyeong!